Hello, this is Jason Slater from jasonslater.co.uk. I'm here today with the Oregon Scientific Radio Controlled Daylight Projection Clock with Outdoor Temperature. But I might just call it the DP200 for the rest of this article. DP200 is a smart looking device that projects the time and temperature onto walls and ceilings or pretty much anything else you could imagine. In the box you get the projection clock itself with this swivel arm. You could probably see the projected image moving up and down. You get the power adapter which is plugged in at the moment, the user manual guarantee and an external thermo sensor here. The device itself is a about the height of a paperback book, a typical paperback book. I don't have one handy just to show you, so you just have to take my word for it. But as you can see, the unit has got a sort of a black gloss with silver trim style to it. Let me see if I can bring that. There's the device itself. You just that out of the way. <coughs> Bring it a little closer to the camera. There we go. And you can see here the the focusing ring, and of course where you plug in the the power here. Oh, that bit was me placing my hand over the infrared sensor. So we can see the display here is currently showing the alarm time. If I wave my hand, we can see it has now changed to the outdoor or external temperature, which has been read from the sensor. And then we have the internal sensor temperature, which is contained within the clock itself. And there we go. The time itself is being projected there. Let's bring it back down onto the wall. The thermo sensor itself <coughs> is quite a small unit. It's run from AA batteries, which are included with the product. You need to place the sensor within 30 meters of the main unit and it can be either wall mounted using the hook here or table mounted using the stand <coughs> inside you can set the channel there are three available channels I've got it currently set on channel 2 it seems to be working quite happily It's typical when you film things. Right, there we go. Most of the action takes place on the base of the device. I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but here we have an option to switch off the projection. We can switch the rotation through 180 degrees. So let's take a look at that. There it is. We can switch the projection off, get it to display just the clock and the clock alone, or automatic where it cycles between the available display modes. And the projected information is the clock, the current time, the external sensor reading, and the internal sensor reading. You can also set the clock and set the alarm and also switch between centigrade and Fahrenheit. Oh, and also set the clock to receive its synchronization signal from a European setting, which needs to be within around 900 miles of Germany or it, the UK. Or you can reset the device using the reset button at the bottom. 
A battery is included here for times when the power goes off. So let me see now if I can get in a closer viewing of the actual time projection itself. Not quite sure how this is going to come out, but we'll do our best. There it is. That's a little blurred to the camera. Let me just turn off the, the light. I am projecting on a slightly off white wall. But as you can see, it's still quite readable. There we go. That's probably a little more uh, set. So the DP200, some of the more interesting features of the device itself are the infrared motion sensor by waving the hand just above the device for activating snooze and for changing the projected display modes and also the display modes on the device itself. The ability to rotate the projected image through 180 degrees. Being able to get two temperature readings, one internal and one external to the device itself. And of course the ability to be able to set the device using a radio clock signal. So this is the Oregon Scientific Radio Controlled Daylight Projection Clock with Outdoor Temperature or DP200. For a more detailed review of this and other cool gadgets and technology to help you with your productivity head over to my blog at www.jasonslater.co.uk Thanks for watching. Goodbye.